Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to learn about the great explorer, French explorer, Jean Nicolet. And we're going to talk about the trade route to China. So what about China? This goes back to Columbus 100 years earlier, who wanted to find silk and spice and all things nice. Remember, Christopher Columbus wanted to find China in India, and he took off from Spain. And versus going on the old Silk Road, which you could see goes all over land, where you could have been robbed, you could have been stuck in weather, whatever. It was a year, many years trip to go over land to find China to get access to silk and almost as long to get to India for silk or for spice. So instead of going down around Africa and coming back up, Columbus went left and found the new world. That leads us to Nicolet. <clears throat> Jean Nicolet was an interpreter born in 1598 near Normandy, France. He arrived in the New World um, in New France in 1618 and spent his first several years learning the language of the Huron and Algonquin peoples. And um, he was very accomplished at this and thus was sent out to do some exploring. Now, you know how the Spanish and the Portuguese were in South America and they were finding gold and the like. And the English were building colonies along the eastern shores of what is now um, the East Coast. Uh, United States, the French were still searching for a route, trade route to China to find that silk and spice and all things nice. And Nicolet, through his travels, had learned of a group of people. Um, the Algonquin word was the Winnipeg, which in their word meant stinky or foul smelling water, stinky water. And uh, the other French folk thought that this might in fact be the salt water. And if they had crossed salt water, they may have crossed the ocean and landed to China. And so Nicolet and several folk made their way through canoes um, to and landed near the shores of what is known today as Green Bay. This is the actual travel route that they took off of Montreal along the Ottawa River, Lake Nipissing. Uh, made their way to Salt St. Marie, came down through Lake Michigan, landed near the shores of Green Bay. And Nicolet was very careful, he was calculating in how he went about his business. As he reached the shores, he realized that this was not, in fact, China, but he had a silk Chinese robe. Um, he had two pistols in his hands. In fact, the men around him called him Manitorino, which means man of wonder. And as he arrived along the shorelines, I'm going to go back a slide, wearing this silk fancy robe, he had two pistols. He fired them in the air and all the people around considered him a, a great person, even a god. It didn't take too long for Nicolay to get four or 5,000 different uh, folks of both the Winnipeg and Algonquin people to come celebrate and feast with them. And he made peace, opening the door for more French exploration into this new world, the interior of what's now Wisconsin. What's interesting is he called it quits, but he found out that three days journey from Green Bay by water, he could make it to a place where he could cross land and get to a river which would lead him down to what they believed was the Gulf of Mexico. And this was a major important travel route into an interior. You got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, there was no Google Earth. There were no maps. This was unknown territory. And Nicolet and his work as an interpreter and a showman, I mean, the man with pistols in his hand, um, made peace with the people so more French folk could make their way westward, explore the interior, and get to know what we now call Wisconsin. Unfortunately for Jean Nicolet, um, he spent all this time on the waters traveling in and out, but he never learned how to swim. And a few years after he made his travels to Green Bay, um, he was out with three other men and they were trying to go off the waters of Quebec and their ship fell and they all drowned and he passed away in 1642. So take those swimming lessons, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson about Jean Nicolet. Again, I'm going to have several questions things to ponder. Feel free to rewatch the video and I hope you're all well. Thank you.